Hey everybody, look what's going on. Thank you Reverend Lucy for a wonderful message of telling us about the human genome and the science of mind principle that actually goes with it. We are one with spirit and each other. I want to tell you how I grew up. My name is Jaworn Owens. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I grew up in a foster home. My mother, she was a very interesting woman. She only wanted to keep children. She retired from nursing, became a foster mother, and she took in babies. Black, white, African, Thai. My mom had all different types of children. But there was one thing. She treated us all the same. Every single one equally. I didn't realize until I became a practitioner that my mom was a living embodiment of science of mind and truly manifesting the things that she want and where she wanted to focus her attention. It didn't mean that racism didn't exist. It was just underlying, but she didn't focus on it. She manifested what she wanted. Let's switch gears to a recent event. It wasn't until an African-American man was murdered and a murder and a video clip played on national television and protests around the world had to face underlying racism and fully acknowledge it as a global awareness have permeated our minds. Racism. Hey everybody, look what's going down. I'm going to speak to you about what is really going down around us in the world where African Americans have been oppressed and how systemic racism has always been there. I'm going to give you an example. Two friends of mine from college, one name was Mike, one name was DC. We're all African American. DC was a district manager for a pharmaceutical company. As a district manager, he hires his own team. He gets resumes, he does interviews, he extends the offer. Mike, he interviewed for a position with the same company that DC worked for and DC was a district manager. Mike came out of the interview, he said, man, I did really well. I know I did good. This is what Mike communicated to me. When a week went later, went by, Mike said, I didn't get the job. He called up DC on the phone and said, DC, hey man, what happened, man? I thought I had that. I thought I th did really good. DC responds to Mike and said, you did really good. But I had to pass you on to the regional manager. And the regional manager didn't even want to interview you. Most of my team, I had a full choice of who I can hire if they're white. Whenever I hire an African American, I do not get the last say. Mike said to DC, man, that's jacked up. What wasn't really said is that they both knew that's just how it is. Racism is weed and all different types of things in our society. As African Americans, we have to learn how to deal with it, as they say. What I want to ask you is a couple questions. How can you become more aware, even though it was around you? How do we individually contribute to racism? Even I as an African-American man has contributed to racism, rather knowingly or unknowingly. Look around your community. How many African-Americans live in your community? In most big cities around the country, you have a downtown. Or you have a west side, and this is the bulk of the populations of African-Americans. But the new homes are going out further, further. Hmm, seems like you're trying to get away from us. 
The jobs aren't there. Racism is weaved in our social systems, legal, and even some religious sectors. It's so per pervasive that most of you haven't even seen it or recognized it, if you're white. How do we come up with solutions that create peace, love, equality towards all? In Science of Mind 2, we will explore some of these questions. Hey everybody, what's going down? Well, what's going down on September 9th, 2020, Science of Mind 2 is going to have a class, How to Be an Anti-Racist, by Ibram, by Ibram X. Kendi. A flyer will be coming out soon so you can sign up for the class. But even before the class start, if you sign up, I want you to really think, have you really seen racism around you? Or has it just slipped through your mind and it didn't even come into your consciousness? Have you seen people or been around people that made certain jokes to put down certain people of color have you laughed at blackface performances? You say, I wouldn't do that. Well, it's on television all the time. We even do it ourselves. Sign up for Psalm 2, How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi. And you are going to learn how to be an anti-racist.